fighting against throat cancer since last August. Her legendary voice now a mere whisper. She thought her radiation treatment had been successful until last month. The cancer came back. It's two small tumors. This in the lungs. It's a small tumor on the vocal cord. Wells will now undergo chemotherapy and will possibly need surgery. The news devastated her, but the day she was told, things got worse. This article appeared in The Globe, claiming she'd been a heroin addict for 25 years, that her children had been found near drugs, and that she'd lost custody of her kids because of her addiction. Mary wants to get this message to her fans. I just, to, the, to the ones that read the article, that is not the truth. And that, um... I hope they didn't get this as disturbed as I did about it, but it's not the truth. The day we spoke, Mary's daughter, Sugar, accompanied her. Mary says her younger children had been staying with her adult children only because of her doctor's orders, not because they were taken out of her custody. After I had treatment, they said that I would be pretty weak and need to recuperate and that I should be in a place to myself, not with any kids to disturb me or anybody else. Wells denies everything in the article and says she doesn't understand how the author of the story could write such vicious lies about her when she's going through such hard times. How could they just sit down and think of something to do to a person that was ill, that already was like crawling on the ground, basically? trying to get up and walk and recuperate. I mean, how could she actually do that? Mary Wells has faith that she will win her fight with cancer, and she says the Lord will not let her die until she's had time to enjoy herself after a busy singing career.